Okay. <laughs> What's up, Gap Gang? This is Rod Senior from Bridging the Gap, and this video is sponsored by Bite, a teeth aligner company that's helping me bridge my gap. I love Bite because it helps me improve my smile from the comfort of my home. It's all convenient, no dental appointments, all done from the comfort of your home. You're gonna love it, and your smile is gonna look great. If you would like to improve your smile with Bite, click on the description and order your impression kit. And use code BRIDGINGTHEGAP21 and you can save 80% off of your order. Now let's get into the video, guys. What up, what up? What up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Rod. I'm here with my dad. Rod Senior. We are Bridging, Bridging the, the Gap. Gap. Yes, sir. The boys is back with another fire reaction video for you. If you enjoy our reaction videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Also, drop a comment and let us know what else we should react to next. Also, turn on your post notifications so you're notified every single time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos but you want to see the uncut, unedited version, then check out our Patreon. The link is in the description. All right, this video is for all the dogs. You already know Drizzy Drake, one of the greats in the rap game, the Giants. We just saw him in concert, Dad, a couple weeks ago. Right, he right. is finally um, releasing his eighth studio album for all the dogs. What you think about that, Dad? Well, you know what? I hope it's worth all the hype. <laughs> Me too. I feel like I like the Twenty One Savage and Drake album. I I think we, yeah, that was good. You like that too. Yeah. Um, prior to that, he released uh, that dance album, which mixed mixed feelings on that mm -hmm. from most people. Prior to that, he had another album that was decently received, but not like not like. Like it's called Certified Lover Boy. We haven't listened to that album yet, but mm. I don't know. I, I liked it. I thought it was pretty good, but it was like, mm, we want that old Drake. So this whole time they've been touting this album for all the dogs as this is that old Drake. This is supposed to be that old Drake. That's what they've been saying. That's mm. how they've been marketing it to people, to the general public. So okay, we shall see. So, uh, yes, mm -hmm. this is uh, Drake's eighth studio album. It is, uh, it's been released today. Uh, the album features guest appearances from Tizo Touchdown. Uh-oh. Uh, so we, we've been hearing a lot of Tizo Touchdown yeah, lately. Yeah, really. Uh, as well as G 21 Savage, J. Cole, which is fire. Oh, Super yeah. excited for that. And when, when I tell you guys, I've been waiting for my dad to come through so we could do this reaction. I have not listened to this album. It's been so hard not to listen to this album. <laughs> because everybody's talking about it. J. Cole on here. His, yeah. Look at the lineup. Uh, Yeet, uh, SZA, SZA, Party Next Door, Chief, Chief Keef. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually currently going viral for our Chief Keef videos on TikTok. Is that know. right? Yeah. Uh, there's, yeah, the... The don't like song. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny. Sexy Red. Sexy Red. Hey, man, come on, Lil, Lil Yachty. Yachty. Mm -hmm. Oh golly. Yeah. So then we also have uh, production credits from Drake. Tito Is he gonna be down. able to make any money off of this album? Oh, I'm Paying sure he's gonna make plenty. Top dollar. Plenty of money. He, he's, oh, there's some top dollar features, man. For sure. Um, but yeah, we're also getting some production from Drake. Tizo touchdown. Lil Yachty along with Forty. Uh, his longtime collaborator and friend, uh, Sango, Oz, BNYX, wow. Southside, Boy Wonder Vinyls, Tay Keith, uh, Jahan Sweet, DJ Screw, Gordo, Justin Raisin, mm -hmm. lots of uh, fantastic names that we've we've uh, seen uh, on plenty of these other projects from large artists. But yeah, um, we won't waste any more time. Let's freaking. Do this, okay? So, um, got the album pulled up right here. And then before we play the album, uh, what do you think about the album cover here? <laughs> uh, for all the dogs, that's supposed to be a, a kid's version of a dog. That's what he looked like to me. My dog wouldn't even look that good, though. <laughs> <laughs> if you drew it? <laughs> nah, man, be like sticks. Even he had no meat on it. <laughs> so he was pretty good? Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> uh, so the backstory on this is uh, Drake's son, uh, Adonis, drew this okay. uh, album cover. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> apparently that is not a dog. It is actually a goat. 
Oh. And it is, <laughs> it, is it is Drake. It's whatever he want to call it's, it. It's Drake as a goat. Go, okay, cause because he's dead. He's, he's, the, goat. he's the goat. Exactly. Okay, yeah. all right. So, um, man, <laughs> that's the album cover. All right, all right. So we uh, we start off with the introduction to this album. Oh man, I'm excited. <laughs> Drake is well. Man, Drake is come well. On, come he's on. got a good track record on introduction tracks. So like, uh, okay, we finna see. So this is called Virginia Beach. Okay, by Drake, produced by Forty and Harley Arsenal. Okay, here we go, Virginia Beach. Ooh, Frank Ocean. Holds. Oh, I saw that right away. Yeah. <laughs> Say, yeah. say I could have treated you better or whatever, but I don't know. I think I did all right. Cold that social climbing, lean into me. Man, that's cool. Yeah, that'd be lean in to me. I love that sample, too. Yeah. Lean in, lean in to me. Pussy ain't making me tweet. And it'll stay in a week. She pretty but ghetto, pretty but rough. Just like Virginia Sound Beach. Like a little alien I wanna voice get back to the days that you yeah. love me for nothing but uh-huh. what you can see. A sample in the back. Yeah. Bust down a jubilee. I swatted and made you go factory. Well, you put some pain in me. I wanna get back to the major league. She wanna grab on the throttle. I wanna get back in the driver's seat. Yo. Not, not what I expected for the intro. <laughs> I didn't know what to expect, but that was it was really yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. I chase feeling like a fencing match. Your temper shorter and I'm sensing that. You keep talking about some period. But where you about to end the sentence at? Cause you been going up on my head. Nice. And I tell your ass where I'm at. And you act like I'm not straight like www. On wow. site like dot com. Put a baby in you a hot mom. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me if I could have treated you better, but, but no. Nope. Not at all. <laughs> not at all. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. I love that uh, that Frank Ocean sample. That's fire. That's so good. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> good start. Good yep. start. Yeah. All right. That is track number one, Virginia Beach. What'd you think about that one, Dad? Like I said, I didn't know what to expect because mm-hmm. I've heard Drake sound bad and I didn't like it. And I heard Drake sound real good and I loved it. Yeah. So this one, you know, came out today. I'm like, okay, we'll see. Yeah. And you said, and then you kind of, I, I, when you said, uh, Drake's known for good introductions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you set the bar a little higher than right, what right, I right. normally would expect. So I was like, I hope it is a good introduction. Mm-hmm. That was nice. I, I thought that was real nice, man. I dug that. I dug it. I, I, I feel like, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just not what I expected. Usually Drake comes out on his introductions, he be rapping. Like, he be like, and they're taught, they always, they were saying this is going to be the old Drake. So I was just expecting him to come out. I think he rapped a lot on this song. He was he. It was kind of like um, he just didn't hit. He didn't come in hard hitting like you wanted him to. That's what it was. Yeah. Drake came in just sad. Was he did? But to me, he's like ducked in real smooth. Yeah, I just feel like uh, when when he come in on the intro, he supposed to, he supposed to be talking about his ops. He's supposed to be talking about running the rap game, and he's just kind of like he's this is this is a song about how a girl he. You think I should have treated you better? No, I treated well, you as good well, as I well, could. In his defense, and and you know, to me, Drake, you know, I know you, Drake, Drake, Drake. Um, you know, to me, Drake is like, uh, I never know what I'm gonna get. I know, but but I say on this one right here, I'm trying, I'm trying to. Here's my psyche for going into this album. Yeah, Drake, Drake came in smooth on you, right? Yeah. I think at some point he's gonna he hit gonna, you. Oh no, he's gonna turn up for he sure. He's gonna turn up. So for sure. he didn't want to come in all hard this time. He wanted to come in and yeah. then all of a sudden go bam right in the middle of the album. That's we, what I'm 
we're gonna we're gonna, gonna find do. out. We're gonna find out. All right. So, but no, I I didn't dislike that. It just wasn't exactly what I expected from oh, the I from that, the, uh, the intro. But I did enjoy mm-hmm. it. And anytime you put Frank Ocean on anything, I'm a fan. That was fire. Uh, so yeah, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This track number two is titled "Amen." Is featuring Tizo Touchdown. Uh oh. And it's produced by Sango, Budgie Beats, and Tizo Touchdown. Tizo. Yeah. Big fan. Big yeah. fan of the Tizo, man. Yeah. He's killing it. All right, here's track number two, Amen. All right. Father God, I come to you to say thank you. Oh. <laughs> That's all. I don't want to ask for anything. I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Oh my God. Pray again, pray again. Thank you, Father. That's gonna please you like I can. Church. Church Whoa. like a priest, Turks for the week. Purse for yourself, purse for your niece. No, you don't do perks, baby, but. That's a person that yeah, need red all, Mercedes like with so the red yeah, sheets. Yeah, Buy red wig, buy the red seed with that a neat freaking yeah. mess. <laughs> God forgive me, I gotta put you in a crib Same neighborhood where Ashton Kutcher live I'm just doing what that punk should've did He's got some bars here Praying for me while I'm on the road Praying for me while I'm on the clothes Praying that it's not no other girl I'm praying that these girls will never know She praying that's some God for a sign I just went and paid a car note No, 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 no That piano Yeah, the piano's going crazy Praying, praying Pray again, pray again. Uh, neighbor. Everybody say. Pray <laughs> again. Yeah. You know, pray until you find amen. That's gonna treat you. That's gonna treat you like I can. Whoa. Okay. That's track number two, Amen, featuring Tizo Touchdown. What'd you think about that one, Dad? That song was bad. <laughs> Oh man, yeah. that song! Oh, that was a good one. I like that. One. Okay, I told you he was gonna step it up. You didn't think he was gonna step it up? He's that still talking about up. this girl, man. He's still. Like, oh, I don't I care. Mean, I don't want to hear him go off. Or uh, something. You want some gangster I wanna, stuff? I just <laughs> <laughs> you want you want to go you want to go it. rogue gangster. I want him to go hard, but this is this was that that beat was fire. That sample was sick. The vocals, yes. Tizo. Yes. And Drake has some killer bars in here. Yes. He said, um I'm trying to tell you, man. <laughs> what did he say? Where is that? Uh something. Oh, oh. Spent sent more than your father ever sent. Spent more than your baby father did. You my baby, so I gotta put you in the crib. <laughs> in the neighborhood where Same Ashton Kutcher the neighborhood where Ashton Kutcher live. live. I'm doing what that punk should have did. So the <laughs> Ashton Kutcher punked. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, you got some funny bars in here, but uh yeah, that was that was cool. It was a uh, pretty short. short See, song. you know what though? I think um you need to, some advice right now. Mm-hmm. You sit here and waited for this album. Mm-hmm. And you want this album to be where you want it to be. You just gotta let it be what it is. That, that's fair. Exactly, that's fair. That's fair. Exactly. Um all right, cool. Yeah, I like that though. I'm, yeah. I, I, I'm not disliking this, but yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just just taking it in. Man, you know you're gonna go back and play this album like Oh, oh for I'm sure, for sure. That's the thing too. Mm-hmm. It's like I feel like, you know, yeah, when you hear something the first time, you're just hearing it the first time. So right. you're not even catching all the like little little nuances and the Things Ooh, that you're gonna love about that it. That was fire, man. The first two songs to me been fire. Digging it, cool. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. This is track number three. It's titled "Calling for You," and this features none other than Drake's touring partner, Twenty One Savage. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Uh This is uh, "Calling for You" featuring Twenty One Savage. It's produced by Lil Yachty, Power Trav, Jay Stola, Forty, Gintoir, Mamishi, Glenn Brown, and Cash Cobain. Man, all I can say is if this, all these. These feature featuring artists on here, mm. and the first two I've heard so far to me is fire. Mm-hmm. Man, this might be if this keeps going, mm-hmm. and at the same, at least if it just stays at the same level as that right now, mm-hmm. this is gonna be a this is gonna be like one of those collectors items. Well, it's gonna be a classic. Yeah, call it a classic. Yeah, All right, yeah. we'll, we'll see. We'll see. 
<laughs> All right, uh, track number three. If, 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 it, stays, if it stays right here, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, we'll see. Uh, track number three, Calling for You featuring 21 Savage. I was in a club before she even had it. No, she, she was 21. got me right there. I don't see Savage. Savage. Yeah. 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 She want to be the one. She know I'm coming static. She want to hold a gun. It was a bunk. Fuck on the court, he some fun. Girl, I'm the king of my city, I'm the one. <laughs> Different flows. Uh huh. Yeah, I was in a club. Yeah. Listen to that, man. That's. Uh huh. I like that too. Yeah, I like that. I think that's Friday. An artist named Friday. Oh, that's okay. his voice. That beat is just like unique, you know? Very different, yeah. And I like the way they use all these different instruments, man. They sound just. just yeah, yeah. It's all right. <laughs> I see so many seats in, in the first class. 12, like 12, 14 seats. <laughs> I sat in the back of the plane. Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> You're right. Fucking crazy. Oh my goodness. No, the oxtail was fire though. But can we switch yeah. it up? I can't eat that shit every day. What? <laughs> it, 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 it's fire. And then you proceed. <laughs> To go through my phone. What? You wanted to cry. <laughs> you were looking for something. It's on you. It's on you. <laughs> Sorry for your loss. Wow. Wow. Here we go. Fuck nigga wanna get fired on. Yo. Start your nigga up. Put the iron on. Yeah. Leave her up in the ashtray. She suck on my neck like she Dracula. Yeah. Hit from the back, I might tackle her. Yeah. Don't ask about my ox, cause we smacking her. Yeah. Fuck my ox, they haters. Pussy. Fuck my ox, they hoes. Pussy. The bitches that come around <laughs> suck dick and don't put their phone out. Them ones pros. Oh God. Bitch, if you love me, then spoil me. I treat the rap game like a toilet. Oh God. Oh. All of my kids get left in her mouth. She <laughs> say she don't believe in abortion. 21. Oh, you ain't got you a boyfriend. 21. All right, that is track number three, Calling For You, featuring 21 Savage. What do you think about that one? Man, so many layers to this song, man. That was just so cool to me. Uh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Three for three? Boy, I'm telling you, I might have predicted something here. There was, you, you predicting a classic. Yeah. yeah <laughs> this, that, that was good. Three in. Okay, so, yeah, there was a lot going on. I loved... So much going I on. I loved just, Drake's... He had a really different flow. I don't think I've heard him use this flow. Like he kind of was rapping, and he like went in like a higher pitch voice. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He was killing that flow, and then uh, we had kind of like a skit. <laughs> what do you think about the skit? The, the skit was the girl. so cool. She was tripping me out, man. She said, I had to sit in the back of the plane. Yeah, she sounds. I seen all those first class seats up there. <laughs> it was like. She was mad. She man. sounds like a terrible woman. <laughs> she, she was mad too, man. That's what cracked me up, man. I was like, oh man, wow. <laughs> you know. Yeah, she mad she had to sit in the economy. <laughs> then she mad at the chef. She and she feeding her the same <laughs> meal every day. Well, I mean, she might have had a point there eating the same thing every yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, you got to switch it up, <laughs> chef. Come on, chef. But I bet she, I'm I'm, pro, I'm 100% she's sure she's exaggerating. exaggerating yeah. <laughs> and, then, uh, uh, and then she addresses the fact that uh, somebody went through her phone and found something that they yeah. didn't want to see. No. And she hey. doesn't, doesn't seem very remorseful about it at all. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, no, nah, she wasn't. She was like, oh, well. She sounds like a treat. And then uh, what about <laughs> treat. 21 Savage first? Man, you know I was waiting <laughs> on that. You know I was waiting on it. Yeah. Oh, dude, he just killed it. Oh, he killed it. He always does. Like I knew he would. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> I love that first uh, line. 21. Start your nigga up, put the iron on him. <laughs> like, there's just so many ways to say you're going to shoot somebody, but that's, that might be a new one. <laughs> that was cold. That was cold. I'm glad you brought that back, man, because I saw it, but yeah. I was like, it was so much stuff, and I forgot which one it was. I'm glad you said that. That's a great yeah. way to say that. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> That is good, huh? Yeah, that's pretty unique. <laughs> pretty, pretty creative. Yeah. All right. Uh, but yeah, I, I like that one. That was a good one, too. 21. 21, 21. <laughs> All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. Uh, this is track number four. It's titled <laughs> Fear of Heights. This is produced by Oz, Nick D, Pooh Beats, X, N, X, Y, and nothing. That was funny, man. <laughs> uh, I'm still laughing about <laughs> that, man. That was funny. Started man. to put an iron on them. <laughs> yeah. Yo. Uh, All right, go ahead, man. My bad. Fear Heights Track 4, produced by Oz, Nick D, Pooh Beats, X, Y, N, Nothing, and BNYX. Okay. This BNYX dude has been absolutely killing it this last, like, year or two. He's, he's been, been around, huh? He's been producing some absolute bangers. Yeah, he did Meltdown off of Travis Scott's album. He did the K-pop record. Oh, snap. He did his other Drake record, Search and Rescue, which I don't think that made it on the album. No. Well, there's another. Uh, Travis he did Scott. Sirens, yep, from the Travis Scott album. And this Yeet guy, who we're going to hear from later on in the album, he produced a bunch of records for him as well. So What's his name? Yeet. Yeet. Mm -hmm. Oh, there he is. Okay. Yeah, so he's actually another feature on the album later on. So. Cool. But yeah, BNYX has been having a year. He's been killing it. All right, anyway, track number four, Fear of Heights. Here we go. All right. Hey, hey, look, why they make it sound like I'm still hung up on you? This dang at TBH. TBH. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man, he's still with you. He can't leave you. Y'all go on vacation. I bet it's anti. Let me stop. <laughs> you know what, fuck it. Let me go. <laughs> yeah, you go. Hey, 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 girl, you made me want. For Cocoa Puffs on her behind. Okay, that's Fear Heights track number four. What did you think about that one, Dad? It was all. It was hard. Yeah. You just you don't think it's hard because he was talking about a girl. That was definitely more hard hitting. That beat was that beat was he knocking. Was, he, he, was was he, was he, he was going off. He was going off. He was going off. I like how he, like he didn't show no mercy, man. Nah, he was going. I mean, all the he, way in. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he did go all the way in, man. I was like, whoo. Yeah, that beat was smacking too. Yeah, yeah. I like the switch up too. Like it kind of started a little. It started one way, and then yep. he was like, "Nah, I'm about to go hard on here." <laughs> yep. You know, he said, "He said, you know what? Fuck it, let, let me, me go. Let me, let me go." And he and, went. And then he went. He went <laughs> for sure. That was cool. All right, we'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number five is titled "Daylight," and uh, this one is produced by Southside. Legendary trap producer from Atlanta, mm -hmm. Smat certified. That's and the first one I've heard. T9C, yeah, I've never heard of those two guys, but Southside for sure. Okay, all right, here we go. This got to be a banger. If it's by if Southside producer, this about to be a banger. Okay, it's got to be. All right. Track five, daylight. You're all a bunch of fucking assholes. <laughs> you know why? You don't have the guts to be what you want to be. You need people like me. You need people like me so you can point your fucking fingers. I say that's the bad guy. That's my, that's my movie. Yep. <laughs> Standing on business. 
Standing on business. Listen it. Standing on. I'm trying to fuck all the bitches that look like my ex. I'm making up bets. I'm too complex. I carry a whole lot of gold on my neck. He talking down and get put in a lake. Capo the type to show up to the wake. I'm yeah. kicking hard. Don't know what to take. Don't know what I took. My doggy got booked for acting like book. He shot him in. Like you went going in shot hard to me. <laughs> shot him in daylight. 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 So low key, I'm happy they got somebody. <laughs> Oh, like what's in your shoe? We socking niggas. Like what's on your wrist? We clocking niggas. Yeah. Like anyone home? We knocking niggas. Yeah. We clumsy as fuck. We dropping niggas. Yeah. Like Lenny Kravitz show. We rocking niggas. Like tennis indoors. We scratching niggas. That's a nice like, run right here. Yeah. 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 He, he just <laughs> yeah. he peel yeah. rubber yeah. right on this spot right there. <laughs> 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 I'm geeking hard. I know I had luck. Don't know what to take. Don't know what I took. My doggy got man. You know what you want. I don't care which one you want. You can take whatever. I don't care what you do. I will wear okay, that's track number five, Daylight. What do you think about that, Dad? <laughs> Dude. That's, he's smashing it. He's smashing it. Nah, it went crazy. <laughs> that second verse, too, was he says, like, what's in your shoe? We socking niggas. <laughs> like, what's on your wrist? We clocking niggas. <laughs> yeah. Like, anyone home? We knocking niggas. <laughs> we clumsy as fuck. We dropping niggas. <laughs> like, Lenny Kravitz show, we rocking niggas. <laughs> like, tennis outdoors, we squashing niggas. Like, that is hard. Like, number one combo, we whopping niggas. That, that was hard. That was that was one that was one of the most clever bars. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. When he got to that part, he was he was already going fast. But then when he got to that part, he stepped on the gas. He's scared. Yeah. <laughs> he killed <laughs> he rubber. rubber. Yeah. <laughs> he man, he killed it. He yeah. killed it. Dude, let me tell you something. This you feel one, it, this one? Yeah, boy. Yeah, he could have left uh he could have left his son off of that third verse. I what? Know, I don't uh, know what the hell that was all about. Yeah. I mean, I get it, it's cute and all, but like <laughs> He trying to be creative, man. Leave him alone. Just say him gone with his son in there, man. That's his son, Adonis, right? Yeah. Yeah. It, I thought it sounded good. To me, I just didn't understand the relevance of it when he put the it in The beat was, it was even like, tight. Like, the that second beat that his son was rapping over was dope. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so, too. But, I mean, it's just like, okay. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, he's at, that's his debut. He's he gonna be and good for him because now I mean he's gonna be on his album. He's gonna get paid for it. He's also gonna get paid for the <laughs> album artwork. Like he's a millionaire already. Already good for him. Already, but plus, we could have did without that. But, 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 that was his first rapper. So he gonna be a rapper when uh, he get when he grows up. Good for him. <laughs> Shout out to Adonis. Oh man, great kid. All yeah. right, this is the one I've been waiting for. Okay. Oh, you heard it, huh? No, I have not heard it. You heard about it? I heard about it. Oh, okay. This is track number six. First person. First person shooter. Shooter. Featuring. <sighs> yeah. They like, he's very humble. So, Drake and J. Cole kind of came in the game at around the same time. Mm -hmm. Earlier in their careers, they used they they they've collabed before, mm -hmm. but they have not collabed in a long, 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 long time since both of them have like ascended to superstardom. Mm -hmm. And if you ask me, I feel like they've always kind of all like all three of them, Drake, J Cole, and Kendrick, have always thrown little little shots at each other, like, but not really, not like really, but like, yeah. Got to give them a look. Yeah, just, just a little. little yeah, I mean, yeah. So I'm excited about this because okay. they haven't done a track in so, 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 so long. Right. And J. Cole has been absolutely killing every feature he's been doing over the last couple of years. I mean, J. Cole has just been spazzing. Like, we just did mm -hmm. that J. Cole verse on Lil Yachty song. Oh, dude. That was phenomenal. Oh, so good. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, this is what everybody's talking about. Track number six, First Person Shooter featuring J. Cole, produced by Coleman Vinyls, Tay Keith, Boy Wonder, F and Z. Oh, Boy Wonder's on here. And OZ. Vinyls. So you shouldn't have told me this. You shouldn't have hyped it up for me. Because, uh, man, I'm, I'm hoping this is really, really good. Really I good. I don't know. I just, I'm just saying everybody's been talking about it. 
And I'm excited to hear this. All right, all right. Track number six, first person shooter. First person shooter mode. We turning your son to a funeral. To them niggas that say they want office, you better be talking about working in Cuba code. Yeah. yeah, them boys had a lot, but I knew the code. Who's that? Lot of That's niggas cold. debating okay. my numero. Not the three, not the two, I'm the you and no. Yeah. Numero, you and no. Me and Jersey, this shit like the Super Bowl. Man, this shit done it big as the. Big as the what? Big as the what? Terrible, just like a two year old. <laughs> I love a dinner with some fine women when they start debating about who the gold. I'm like, go ahead, say it then. Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? Who the gold? <laughs> who you bitches really rooting for? Like a kid that had bad from January to November, nigga. It's just you and Cole. Big as the what? Kid to come drop like a father to be. Yeah. Wow. Get our hardest MC. Is it K Dot? Is it Aubrey or me? <laughs> we the big three like we started a league. But right now I feel like Muhammad Ali. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Muhammad Ali. Ali. The one that they call when they shit ain't connecting no more. Feel like I got a job in our team. Yeah. <laughs> with me is the biggest <laughs> mistake. The Spider Man meme is me looking at Drake. It's like yeah. we recruited your homies to be Demon Deacons. We got them attending your wake. <laughs> Nigga. <laughs> oh my Messed you up. Jay Cole. Jay Cole. I'm about to. I'm about to. Oh my god. I'm about to. Yo. You about to get yo. washed on your old song. I'm about to click out on this shit. I'm about to click out on this shit. I'm about to click. I'm down to click out on these hoes and make a crime scene. I click, she got an angel. Uh -oh. The messages is lime green. I search oh. my name and end up saying 20. Oh no. Nadine, this beat Christine, is hard. Justine, Kathleen, Charlene, Pauline, Claudine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm packing on this phone like some sardines. And they send me naked pictures. It's just small things. You niggas yeah. still taking pictures on a golf stream. <laughs> okay. My youngest richer than you rappers and they all stream. Yeah. I really oh. hate that you've been selling them some false dreams. Man, if your pub was up for sale, I'd buy the whole thing. Yeah. Could they ever give me flowers? Well, of course not. They own from Michael, nigga. Beat it, nigga. Beat Whoa. It. <laughs> Got you now. He got you. <laughs> All right. First versus shooter. Track six. What do you think about that, Dad? Cold bloody song, man. Cold. Jeez, that was a banger. It was so <laughs> fire, man. It's just like, oh, J Cole. J Cole. J Cole. J Cole. Jermaine. Jermaine. Drake. Drake did a thing. Drake bro. did his thing, and that that beat switch. Yeah. And Drake's last verse on that last part, he definitely, yeah, he had to do that because <laughs> the way J Cole, I know you was getting ready. I know what you, I heard what you said. You said you gonna get beat on your own song. Yeah, <laughs> I heard you. Yeah, but was, but but he didn't. He, he didn't. didn't. He held his own because of that B switch and his flow on that second on that second half. Okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll let you rock, Drake. But man, Cole's verse, Cole's verse got too many bars. Too, too many bars. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's. Oh my god. Oh man, he's uh, man. <laughs> the flow of that song, man. When it cold though, yeah. I mean that mug was just like. Whew. It just kept that moving. production, man. That, oh man, this top is... tier, top tier production, top tier structure. I loved everything about that song. That song was fire. That's the best song I heard so far. Yeah, I would. Have, I was. I don't know, man. I got everything I heard so far. Good, even the intro. Everything's been good, but yeah, that was just like. But <laughs> that intro through your your you for a loop, boy. Yeah, I would say so far, I really like that Amen song with Tizo touchdown. Right. That was that was cool. I really like that. And then first person shooter. Everything else, I I enjoyed it. It's definitely probably gonna have to grow on me. Probably, you know, after I listen to this a few times. The only thing I would take off on this album so far is the first one. 
the and intro? I'd have probably, you know, no, I can't no, say like because I want to hear the intro. I would, I want to hear the intro. I like the yeah. way, I like the way that sounded to me. Yeah. No, I wouldn't take that off either. No, I wouldn't take anything off. I would definitely. This is definitely gonna. Uh, it's gonna take a few plays, but all right, yeah, that uh, was. This is gonna be some enjoyable. That was plays. a <laughs> Yeah, I'll be playing this first person weekend, shooter. Not, yeah, that was great. Yeah, I gotta hear it on the big. Yeah, the yeah, it, it, I gotta put put this in the whip. I can't <laughs> wait to. You know how hard it was to not bump this in the whip this morning. I was like, oh my god. Okay, anyway, <laughs> we're here now. Track number seven. Okay. IDGAF. Okay. I don't give a f. <laughs> oh, oh my okay. goodness. And this is featuring Yeet. Oh, that's the Yeet you were talking yeah, about. Yeah, Yeet is an absolute uh, internet sensation. He's very popular. Where's he from? With the young generation. I don't know. I don't know a ton about Yeet. I've only heard a couple of songs from him. I just know he's extremely popular. The kids love him. Hmm. Um, let's see. Yeet is uh, Lake from Oswego, Oregon. Oh. Okay. All right. And he's based in L.A. I swear go. Yeah. All right, but yeah, here is I Don't Give a F mm-hmm. featuring Yeet, produced by BNYX and Sebastian Shaw. How old is Yeet? Is he, he about 18, 19 years old? So he was born in 2000, so he is 23. Oh, okay. Young guy. All right, here we go. Track number seven, IDGAF. I knew that was right. on my neck. <laughs> Life check in a hit. I signed for a couple million. You only touch a hundred thousand. Okay. I like I like that the way that came in. That was hard. <laughs> <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> I, I I can feel it coming. Yeah. <laughs> I don't be giving no fucks. Huh? I don't know what you call it. I don't, I don't be giving no fuck. I told us on as a label. I stay with that old like a tie. I stay with that old <laughs> like a bagel. I stay with that old like a lightsaber. Shout to my ex on my lightsaber. My Glock is sit on the night table. Uh, you light on the waist like a lightsaber. You got silly, it's a me and twist. I hate you boy more than I ever did. You rapping my shit that you never did. My dog in it can like a metal lid. Three the kid. Three the kid. Three the kid. I don't be giving no fucks. Come in. in. I took it out the phone with my demon and he tell me that I'm gon' win. Yeah. I can be wasting time on it. I just be running up a fucking check. For the beats, I make a sweat. Huh. I'm a dab my respect. Huh. Yeah. I put this nigga for my neck. Life check in the hit. I signed for a couple million. You only touch a hundred thousand. Ain't nobody selling style. Yeah. Ain't nobody watch your song. Tell tight. me who the fuck gon' buy. <laughs> tell me who gon' make it out. I don't be giving no fucks. I like uh, Yeet's voice. Yeah, oh, it's really cool. Unique, ain't it? Yeah. I don't be giving no fuck. I say whatever I want. Say whatever you want. I do whatever want. I want. I kind of that money for fun. You know, pocket can't money for fun. Kind of money for fun. Okay. I want some fun. <laughs> <laughs> kind of some money for fun. <laughs> That is track number seven, IDGAF, featuring Yeet. What do you think about that one, Dad? I enjoyed that song just as well as I have uh, some of the others. I, it was, I thought it was a good song. It takes sound like you're on a little ride, you know, mm-hmm. when, they, when they rap and that rhythm. It made you kind of get have a nice little bounce, you know, like you cruising in your ride mm-hmm. down the street. You like got a good little vibe going on. Yeah, yeah, that right there, boy, it was that was all right. Yeah, that beat was banging. Um, I like that. It was it was a really interesting uh, intro yeah, to the, the song. Yeah, the intro was man. And I was it, just, like, it was like doing this trumpet and this vocal, and then all of a sudden, just yeah, boom, just came in really hard with Yeats vocals, and yeah, it was cool. It was a cool little little banger. I rock with that. You rock with it? Yeah, it was cool. Right. I honestly uh, have not heard like anything that I would have would think is a hit yet. Really? And Drake is the hit man. Man, I think every song so far I heard on here could be a hit. Everything thing. sounds good. It's sounding good. 
I haven't heard a hit yet. I don't think so. Uh huh. I think all of these songs could be hits, except probably maybe maybe the intro. And then you know, if you played any of these songs over and over again, if you just kept hearing them over the airwaves, I guarantee, you, man, people would start loving them so much they'll turn into hits. Maybe. Time will only tell. <laughs> We're okay. gonna play the next song. Right, this is right. track number eight. It's titled Seven Nine Six Nine Santa. Oh, that's a seven nine six nine. Yeah. Well, I wonder what this uh, right. What I the have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh, produced by Nyan, Alex Lustig, Jahan Sweet, and BNYX. Okay, seventy nine sixty nine Santa. Here we go. All right. <laughs> I thought I was going to hear some jingle bells. Wait, 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 You just can't even help yourself. Damn. That's how you, that's how you, hey, that's it. look, look, who the fuck is that is a disguise? You ain't who I thought I recognized. I don't like the look that's in your eyes. Whoa. Blame this shit on being 25. Oh. That excuse for me just doesn't fly. And Zach keeps saying me that 79. Zach keeps saying me that 79. That shit just gon' have you on my. This had Chief, uh, Chief Keef on here mm -hmm. And Baby. Dolls will be dolls <laughs> I freaking Though love Tizo, man Leave the door open See the door open Yeah <laughs> Smooth <laughs> that's pretty good man. That's that Damn new Tizo good. touchdown Whoa. Straight For all the dogs that's driving around in Beaumont <laughs> Get the hell out of all here All you pit bulls should know by now That hundreds in a row look like tuna in a bowl <laughs> This is Curtis cut a bitch off And you're listening to B-A-R-K Radio The biggest dog Live DJ. Chapel Hill Where the DJ. South was won Whatever off the uh -huh. motherfucker. Get it, Ruth. This is B A R K Radio. All right, that is seven nine six nine Santa. Man, this this album is just <laughs> it's rolling it's along great, there, it's man. Full of great surprises for it's sure. Rolling along there, and then all those names started popping up, man. Uh -huh. As the song went on, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah. Yeah, that, I like. I enjoyed the song. I, I enjoyed the lyrics. I enjoyed the production. I enjoyed the rapping. I enjoyed everything on this. Yeah, I um, first half of the song maybe it'll grow on me. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't, I wasn't loving that. Mm -hmm. uh, just like his melodies and singing just kind of sounded a little lazy and lackadaisical. Um, I did like the, I get the message, and this is a message that he's always uh, kicking. This, you know, mm -hmm. the girl that he's trying to get over, her and she did him wrong, and he made. He made her into the woman that she is now, and da 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 da. da. I, I like that narrative, Drake, but uh, I don't know. I just didn't love the singing or the the melodies or whatever. Okay, but I did love the Chief Keef sample in there. Shit, I don't like. That's always cool. <laughs> and yeah. then, man, when Tizo came in, that part was absolutely amazing. He, he blew it up. He blew love it up. that part. Love his singing. Love his harmonies. Mm. And then, uh, yeah, bringing in Snoop Dogg for like a little radio oh, that was interlude. So, that was so cool. Smooth. Yeah, love that. Yeah. And it's for all the dogs. So you know, having having the big Snoop Dogg, the <laughs> biggest dog. You know, yep. Doing yep. some little narration. That was tight. Yeah, it was. So was. I don't know. Maybe I would. This is. I would definitely go back to the song just because I would want to hear that Tizo part and the Snoop part. So maybe the begin the earlier part of the song might. And he introduced the next. Uh, songs is coming up. Yeah, for sure. That was kind of cool. Too. Yeah, I like that. I so, um, all right. So we'll go ahead and roll right into the next track here. This is track number nine, "Slime You Out," featuring SZA. And uh, we got some production by BNYX, okay, Grant Lapointe, and Noel Cadastre, Forty Drake, and D Ten. Okay. And this is actually the lead single. 
I have heard this song. Oh. Uh, yeah, this came out a couple weeks ago. And yeah, uh, Drake and SZA. Okay. Track number nine, Slime You Out. Here we go. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with you girls. I feel like y'all don't need love. You need somebody. Need a state, got me weak, you know you like American <laughs> You got my mind in a terrible place. Whipped and changed you like American slave. Wow. Act like you not used to share it in stays. I met the nigga you thought her a place. Again. How would I even <laughs> compare us since maybe it's next time I Oh. Oh. Tennessee life clearly. I guess you get the right one February for February is the time yeah. that you put the evil eye in the pride side for the fantasy of getting married. Really know it's W's and M's. Life looking like a bathroom. All I really know is handbags like I drove through and ordered fast food. Yeah. Saying yeah. I'm too guarded with my feelings. Who the fuck even asked you? Seven bodyguards just in case somebody really want to try and crash through. Uh -huh. Don't know why I listen to you when I hear you talking to me and some half truths. If I don't pay rent, it end up like a whole hairstyle. Girl, it's past through. Oh. <laughs> you said as far as I got, I'm like, damn, how much further do you want to go? <laughs> <laughs> right. You said it all, Drake. Oh, all right, that's track number you got nine. A lot to say about that. The slime you out, future sizzle. What'd you think about that one, Dad? Yeah, it was good, man. And like I said, he had he paired the right person. With that slime song. Yeah. Last stuff I heard from her, man, she was just going off on people too, man. I was <laughs> like, oh, okay. So y'all could feel off each other's uh, hurt and pain. Right, right. Y'all right. was right. pain off each other. Yeah, so anyway, he <laughs> dedicated half of his album so far to some chick. Yeah, he been going off. Whoever this girl is or she's several girls. She done pissed sounds, him off. He sounds perturbed. He seen sure. She didn't. <laughs> Man, she done made him so mad. Yeah. I mean, he's he, I mean, he's real pissed off, man. Yeah. He's like, oh, man, whoever she is, man, I don't know, man. That's whew. She done got up under her skin. The worst than, uh, almost as bad as uh, uh, Eminem's old lady. Uh, <laughs> Kim? <laughs> yeah. 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 For real. Yeah, but Eminem's ex, rather. I should have yeah. called the old lady his, his ex. <laughs> Yeah. All right, cool, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number 10. It's titled, titled Bahamas Promises. Okay. And uh, it's produced by Jahan Sweet, Ray Quasi Nelson. Uh, so here is track 10, Bahamas Promises. I bet. Dollars, man. Yeah, fraud of dimes. <laughs> I like this already. <laughs> came in with that, it came in that piano. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> Hey, Drake with the vocals? That sounds good. Hey, All right. Sad that I know all the tea. Ooh. Broken pinky promises. You fucked up our Bahamas trip. I know that you're not for me. Yeah. Hey, Yeah. I'm tired of your apologies. Had the energy. Oh, this is fly. <laughs> this is a joint. <laughs> I'm tired of your apologies. 
Mm-hmm. Broken pinky promises. You got your tail. <laughs> I know that you're not for you got me. You got me on the fly. He got you on the whole album. Living in my mind for free. And for someone you don't miss, I should feel like somebody you need. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you ain't got nowhere to be. It. It's cause you should. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that was hard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you doing? What are you doing? That's a little sample. That was that was cool. Yeah, definitely very very Drake. That's definitely man. Instead of old Drake. Drake, I didn't know you had it in you, bro. You could croon. You almost up there. You man, you and Al Green could kick it together, sing a song. That was some of the best singing I've ever heard Drake do. That was yeah, that was really good Drake yeah, singing. He did very well. Yeah, he did. And I will say, um, you know, Drake is very well known and uh, documented as uh, always sharing the names of his love interests. Yeah, I noticed finally, <laughs> finally. He put a name he, on this bullet. He put the name out there. I didn't think he was going to do it. Yeah. I just thought he was going to just go ahead. And then here, there her name is. I mean, he's got a track record. I mean, he had Bria's interlude. He, he uh, talks about the girl Courtney from Hooters on Peachtree. Like he's got, he, there's like some, and these are real women. Yeah. And like people know now. And so Haley, whoever you are. She's rich now. <laughs> <laughs> you are, you she's, are immortal. She's you are rich. now. Oh man, she's rich. She can, she can, um, oh man, she can market that now. Yeah. I'm Haley. Yeah, I'm Haley from, uh, from Bahamas Promises. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's definitely going off on, on her. He's tired of her. Apologies, you put the no in monogamy. Yeah, he yeah, he's dog, he dog, man. Oh he man. <laughs> messed up his behind. He's messed trip. up too. He said he's mm-hmm. he's in a bad movie. He's sliding down Black Creek. His friends mm-hmm. would say they want to meet, but I don't have the energy. Yeah, he ain't even, oh, he, man. He ain't even feel like going nowhere, man. Yeah. Yeah. He's you fucked up on Bahamas trip. <laughs> I know you're not for me. You're living in my mind rent free. Can't get over this girl. Man, yeah. Haley. I bet Haley's a Bad thing. Mm, I bet so. I bet so. All mm. right. Well, yep. That was fire. That's probably one of my favorites so far that we've heard. Man, first person shooter. I don't even know. I, at this point, to me, I can't even pick a favorite on here. Yeah, that one just sticks out a lot These for me, for sure. Yeah, there's some st- there's some ones that stick out, man. But oh my goodness, then the hard ones come in, and then they just like, yeah. Yeah, I just haven't heard any of the ba- like the bangers that we've heard. I haven't heard any that are like harder than the bangers that Drake has already dropped. Like, like Drake has a catalog of some serious, serious bangers, and like I don't know none of these, none of the bangers. Dude, bangers, we only halfway through. So we're I'm, not even all the way halfway through. So I'm hoping, <laughs> I'm hoping he got some shit on uh, here. It's, it's some shit on here. I, I got see. a feeling it's some shit on here, man. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that that was definitely fire. I like that Bahamas promises. So yeah. this is song number what? We are rolling into track number eleven, and this is titled. Okay, we barely hit. Tried half. our just best. Not hitting halfway. Yeah, we are on. Yeah, I guess we're about halfway. Ish, man. Track eleven. And tried our best, and this is produced by Jahan Sweet and Forty. Mm. Here we go. All right, that is track number eleven. Tried our best. What did you think about that one, Dad? Such a a, a, a sweet song for such a sad <laughs> story. Yeah, you know? for sure. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, it was good. That I was, like that one. I like yeah, that. Yeah, that was a lot. real good. Yeah. That was real good. Loved the loved the little touch of Ty Dolla Sign in the hook. Uh, he has some great. Runs in his verses, and you know Ty Dolla Sign, he just had a, a small part, but it was like whoa. Yeah, anytime you hear Ty Dolla Sign like, voice on something, yeah. it, it's gonna make it better. 
for sure. Golly. And that's so and that that's that's what was so amazing too about this song because his song his his part was so small. Yeah. But it was so big. Right, right, right. You know what I mean? It made a difference yeah, for sure. It did. Yeah. This uh, this song was it was a great song. I really too. enjoyed that song a lot. That was cool. I love the beat. I love Treated you, treated you, yeah. treated you, treated you. <laughs> that was dope. Yeah. Cool, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is titled Screw the World Interlude. This is produced by DJ Screw. So uh, just a reminder, Drake has uh, a lot of ties in Houston. Um, he mm-hmm. spent a lot of time there. and That's like his second home. And whenever yeah. he goes... I heard him mention on one of these songs, H-Town. He said H-Town. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's always shouting out mm-hmm. H-Town for sure. Uh, but yeah, uh, so I'm assuming this is something... Because DJ Screw is a popular DJ from... Uh, Houston. Oh, okay. He created the screw music. Um, the screw music. Yeah, that's when they chop and screw the music. They take regular track and slow it down. <laughs> what? I don't know the name. Just <laughs> screw music. <laughs> okay. Okay, man, that's just like, I don't know, that was weird to me when I hear it. <laughs> yeah, not like screwing, like, <laughs> oh, I get it. It's, it just sounds like, you, yeah, you want to screw music, and I'm just like, oh, the what? <laughs> no, not that. It's screw music, like, <laughs> they take the tracks, in, in, in Houston, they drink lean and stuff, so they're mm-hmm. all slow, and they, they make their music screwed, and like, Slow, make to slow down. Yeah, yeah, really. Mm-hmm. And and you said in Houston they like lean. Everybody's like in the club drinking lean. Yeah, it's like that's where it got popular. I feel oh, like yeah. Okay. So and that's where the screw music um, movement came from. Ooh-wee. But yeah, DJ Screw he passed away. A lot of bar fights down there, man. I'm sure. Uh, but yeah, anyway, that's just a little background. So I'm <laughs> assuming that this is gonna be something like that. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Track number 12, <laughs> Screw the World Interlude. Hey, I never feel. Hey, I hate. I hate. Uh, uh. I screw the world. Uh, uh. What would what she, she do if you can fuck with my crew? Screw the fucking world. Dang! That's date based to the deepest of depths. That was raw and hard, man. For was, sure. Yeah. Drake's always paying homage to the Houston legends, mm-hmm. so that was fire. I, I like yeah, that. Yeah, boy. Uh, that was uh, DJ Screw basically just freestyling over Nas's If I Ruled the World. Mm-hmm. That's the beat that he was rapping over, yeah. and it sounds like they got that from like some kind of mixed tape or yeah. something gritty. And they, Oh, no, man, but that sounded Good. That was hard. That, that was, was fire. Really, yeah. Uh, what does this say? Coming in as the first interlude uh, for all Doll Screw pays homage to lo- legendary Houston native DJ Screw. His biggest breakthrough hit in music was his ability to chop and screw music and screw's mm-hmm. words. It's what he hears and experiences when he is intoxicated on marijuana. <laughs> this particular track is one of DJ Screw's chopped and screwed covers of Nas's Ill- iconic track, If I mm-hmm. Ruled the World. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was fire. I like that. That was really cool. Just a. Yeah, Drake's always showing love to Houston, so. Well, I'll tell you one thing. This album is like, it has no um, real pat- pattern to it. Mm. I mean, well, it kind of does, but I mean, but the, the the production on the music and the feature featuring mm. uh, artists on the on the, uh, the songs, yeah. it, you don't know what you're going to get next. Yeah, I know. It's like, you know, like they said in Forrest Gump. You never know what you're gonna get. Yes, yeah. yeah, I don't know. I, I um, yeah, I kind of feel you on that because mm, maybe this first half was a little, little more upbeat, mm-hmm. and now we're getting into ever since uh, slime you out. Well, no, Bahamas Promises was kind of when it started. Yeah, slime you out is still kind of slow too. Mm-hmm. So I'll say it's kind of slowed down in there. 
and now we're in like a slower pace. I don't know. I don't know what to expect. I, you know, I'm just more speaking of the production part of each song, man. Yeah. I mean, like they just like everyone is just each song is just like so unique. It got all these special things going on in, inside of each song. I agree. Yeah. There's you a lot of I mean? lot of lot of different sounds, and we're hearing some new new flows from Drake. And yeah, yeah. This is interesting. This is like a just a. a just a lot of ideas, and, and it's all sounding pretty good. So. It is. It's, he's bringing it all together, man. I mean, it seems like they put a lot of thought. He put a lot of thought into this. Yeah, for sure. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and move it to the next track. Uh, this is titled Drew a Picasso, track 13. And this is uh, produced by Young Troy, Tommy Parker, Sauce Boy, The Baby Cam, The Boy Cam, <laughs> Sauce Danny Boy. Phantom, 40, and Eli Brown. <laughs> all right, so here's track 13, Drew a Picasso. <laughs> So then fucking again, after you said we not fucking again Never say never, just say what it is Act like you need some insurance mm, on it You didn't get it on accident Don't make me bring out them racks again Your two best friends are some savages Damn, how many days has it been? Something is different, not genuine Moving like slow to die, to die Whoa. I swear that I wanted you back then Waiting on you like a back end You bet it's fucking no cap in Statements you claim never happened Mmm this can't be the shit that you doing to me All of them nights you was lying around Saying last night, yeah, I probably should have never said that mm. <laughs> When you laying on your stomach Only time I ever want to get my leg back How the outsiders know the inside They were uh -huh. never supposed to get that, nah Soft spot for you. This is turning to a civil war. Artists hitting on wow. your broke as fuck. I swear them niggas probably live in Singapore. The athlete that you're rolling with, I saw his game last night. He didn't score. <laughs> fuck, I gotta say it <laughs> more. Show you spots you never been before. It's fucked up. It was going once, and now you're going twice like a bidding war. Why you act like just cause I go to the strip club, girl, that I don't love you. You still listening to R. Kelly in the whip, baby girl, and I don't judge you. I'ma end this shit and let the 40 B play before I snap. Uh, <laughs> oh, he clown. He clown on her, man. He went Stupid. crazy on her. Stupid. <laughs> and he is talking about somebody so specific. <laughs> <laughs> I saw he went to have me. I saw that he, and he didn't he score. <laughs> Bum ass nigga. Oh my god. Track 13. Drew a Picasso. What'd you think about that one, Dad? That uh, was a Picasso of a song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. He was on a roll, man. He wouldn't stop either, man. He just whoever this is, he ain't letting up either. <laughs> man. He's putting the foot. This down. line right here, he said, wait. He said, <laughs> he's wait, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, the way I'm feeling on this album really took it easy on you. Could have written more. What? This is going easy on her? <laughs> yeah, he's... This has been 13 straight tracks of Venom <laughs> to whoever this woman is. Yo, this dude is going crazy. Ooh, what's her name? Haley? Haley, yeah, Haley. Man, say you sorry, Haley. Just Haley, tell him you sorry. He yeah. makes stuff. Haley did a number on the boy. Ooh. Yo, nah, it's crazy to just hear a guy. She, she buys it. She, she probably heard his album say, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, he's going absolutely crazy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what I was, the couple of things I was thinking while listening to the song is number one, I think it's uh, just crazy. Like, Earlier in Drake's career, these are the kind of songs he made, and that's what got him popular. Mm. And it was refreshing and new to hear like a rapper like kind of talking vulnerably about like yeah. failed relationships and things like that. For Drake to be at this stage of his career and still talking still like doing this, it, it's kind of like, <laughs> come on, dude, it's kind of crazy, but it's kind of 
it's it's interesting too because it, it, it's like okay, but he's still a real person and he's still dealing with the. Uh, well, the problem is he, he's rich and he's so he's so freaking rich and so famous that it's hard for him to find real relationships. So every time you know he's gonna have a whole bunch of relationships that just don't work, right? You know, for him, right? And all the women he's coming across just always just want something. Yeah, or, or and he's trying them. to be nice. You know, yeah. he's trying to. You know, he like you know, um, he trying to be a gentleman or whatever, and trying, trying to keep to, hope alive too. Yeah, like yeah. he's trying to, you know, he he he's trying to not be jaded and, and right. still believe that somebody can right have fall good in love and, for him. And yeah, but he's every just, time he just gets screwed over. It's, I think it's harder when you 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 live in his life. I think it would be extremely hard because mm. it's like everybody wants something from you. So that's and, why that's why he keeps. He, and, he's never gonna run out of material. And these he, women are like so top tier, right? Like they have, if they have access to Drake, who else do you think they have access to? And yeah. if they're getting around Drake, even if they didn't have access to all these yeah. higher top tier people, now they do. They do, mm-hmm. and it's like. Mm-hmm. Damn. It's got to be frustrating. That shit will push you. Yeah, I think yeah, it will yeah. piss you off, you know? And you sit around, you watching all of this going, yeah, I see your moves. Right. You know? And all you can do is just like, just oh, peep it. Yeah. And be like, all right, well. Okay, whatever. Another one bites the dust. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nah, you going in. No. <laughs> He's going in hard, though. Whoever, Haley, he put your name out there, so you know you might be blackballed now. <laughs> yeah, they will put you on a no flies yeah. list. <laughs> oh, man. He's just saying all kind of stuff in here. Oh, this boy. is very, very. <laughs> Entertaining. That was an entertaining. Track. <laughs> yeah, that it one right cool. there in Miami, the house with me, my ass in Gryffindor. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh god, he was Harry Potter on her ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Oh no, nah, this was the, the 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 bar right here. Artist hitting on you, broke as fuck. I yep, swear to yep. niggas probably live in Singapore. <laughs> the athlete that you rolling with, I saw this game last night. He didn't score. Fuck, I gotta say a little more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh man, nah, he is. <coughs> oh. Shout out to Drake. He's, he's in his yeah. bag. He's in his bag. Oh, oh, this one here, that would get me too. Oh, that was R. Funny. Kelly one. You still listen to R. Kelly and the Whip, baby girl. I, and I don't judge you. you. <laughs> oh, that, oh, that got me right there, man. I was like, oh snap! Oh, wow, I didn't even judge you for listening to the Kel still. Oh yeah, man, yeah. that's funny. Super funny. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and roll into the next track. Track 14 titled Members Only. Uh, this is featuring, oh, my man. Love Party Next, party next door. door. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We absolutely, hey, if you guys want us to listen to a Party Next Door album, please drop it in the comments. I'm thinking Party Next Door 2. That's my favorite one, but you let me know. Party Next Door. All right. He's great. All right, anyway, this is track number 14, Members Only, featuring Party Next Door, produced by STWO and 40. All right, here we go. September, cause that means that next month is going down like timber. You're too down with the gang, you're one of my members. Or jacking us when you ride around a six girl, are you slapping them or slapping us? I know the answer. Mm. I'll take you farther than Mexico. Yeah. You still got niggas hard pressed to you though. I know yeah. you shorty a ten, but not the messy hoe. Yeah. You standing tall like that star bingo. I will give you my all if you're ready for it. Hop off the block if you're Jenny for me. Yeah. Hop off the yap with the handy for me. You know the airport yeah. is calling our name. You know yeah. the airport is calling our name. I'll take you farther than this game, my girl. Gangster, gangster, you're too down with the, with the members. You're too down for the old girl. For November, December. You're too down for the old girl. The old girl. Go in deeper inside Whoa. my 
feelings can't subside These walls are so thin You gon' wake up the whole east side, girl wow. I feel like I'm by Cause you're one of the guys, girl All jokes Pause. aside You gon' wake up the whole east side gonna Wake, up, wake east. up the whole east side Coming from Jerome B side On the road going in All right, that is Members Only featuring Party Next Door. He told a story there, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I I like the song. I thought it was pretty nice, actually. Yeah, I like that song. I like that song. I like that vibe. Uh, Party Next Door always comes through with his vibe. You know what I'm noticing about this album? Uh, He's doing a lot of singing. So much singing. Yeah. So much singing. Yep. And it's good. It's good. I'm not knocking it. You want him rapping more. I want him to rap. Uh, you got, he's got you know what he ain't done yet. Because, but it's because <clears throat> the way they told, like, for all the dogs, like, that just sounds like it's going to be like this. Oh, he got to wrap up. He got to wrap it up now. He got to wrap it up. How many more songs we got on there? About four, five, six? Uh, no, we still got a good amount. Yeah, see. We're on track 14. This is a 23-track album. Yeah, well. Which is... He he got so long. He got time. I know, but we're twenty. We're we're fourteen tracks in, and I haven't heard. I mean, the most rapping he did was on the song with J Cole. No, he did another one. He, it was another everything one. else has been like, oh, okay. I don't give. I don't. I D G A F. Yeah, yeah. He did one. some rapping on there. Uh huh. But everything else, he'll be rapping, but it's like singy rapping or like melodic rapping. There's you know, nothing. Seven nine six nine was no rapping on that one. Uh. Uh, no, that was mostly, it was singy rapping. Yeah. But yeah, First Person Shooter and, and, and the song with Yeet, those were the two ones where he was rapping, rapping. So, call everything him, else call was, for you? Um, I don't remember. I don't remember. But uh, I don't, ain't that, ain't that's the one with 21, 21 Savage. Savage. Yeah, now 21 Savage rapped his that, verse, but okay. I feel like, that was I the one. Like, no, Drake had a kind of a he had a cool flow. You said don't let that that's the that's the one where you said uh uh don't let uh Savage take your song or something like that, you said. Oh no, and that was he, J. Cole. That oh, was, that was J. Cole, Cole that's right. And that's, that's right. the one I'm saying. Yeah, he uh, rapped on yeah, there. He yeah, rapped yeah. on there. He rapped on there. And one. he rapped on the Geet song. And I I don't know. I don't can't remember him really like just rapping, rapping on anything else. But okay. I digress. We'll, we'll keep going. All right. Hopefully all right. there's some more rapping. But yeah. I, I bet it's coming. I, I like I like these songs, though. But I'm just saying, like, okay, just hasn't been a ton of rapping. But here we go. Here is track number 15. What would Pluto do? <laughs> wow. No future feature. Okay. So Pluto, yeah, if, you don't, if you're not familiar, Pluto is a n nickname for future. Yeah. No, really? Yeah. But there's no future on here. Mm. So he's saying basically how would what would Pluto do? Cuz future is known to be like the toxic don't uh -huh. give a damn. Mm -hmm. You know, he don't he don't let these women get up under his skin like Drake does. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming oh, this, okay. I don't know where this is gonna go, but that's that's what I'm taking from the title. This is produced by Lil Yachty Bangs, BNYX, and Jintar Mashimi, Mamishi, and uh, yeah, I just I don't know why there's no Future on here because Future and Drake collab all the time. So hmm. anyway, what would Pluto do? Track 14, track 15. Here we go. I bet. Damn. Okay. 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 It's been a mother hoe, so I did it. What would Pluto do? He fucked the hoe, so I did it. Killing Pluto, yeah, he definitely fucking on this hoe. Hey, wiggling back to my old ways. Hey, bunch of sedative hypnotics in my system. Okay, life is going just how I predicted. Yeah. Okay, dropping two Cialis in a liquid. Okay, I ain't got a strap, I gotta risk it. Okay, uh. baby girl, Adonis need a sister. Okay, <laughs> oh. and my baby mama had the picture. Okay, think I'm Illuminati cause I'm rich. Well, okay, diamonds oh in the sky. Put your face down, ass in the air, too cussed up, hey, busting all bill, giving shit trail, packing no cell. <laughs> Looking at you now, I see you ain't get rid of. Looking at you now, I see you ain't get rid of nothing. We ain't get the jeans from who sold the buttons, cause that shit still popping out the front and the back. That shit still popping out the damn. That shit 
Yeah, I love this beat. So I want to lift you up high like your hopes. Yeah. So I want to tell your box out like a coach. Get inside and bend a dick just like the Pope. Girl, you got me begging for a 10 like I'm broke. Girl, yeah. I want us hanging in the summer like a coach. Girl, I want to sign oh. your box like a vote. Yeah. Trying to make you coming out your shell like the yoke. But I heard you fucking with a nigga that I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love those little yachty ad libs. So he did it. <laughs> Yeah, All right, that is what would Pluto do? Track fifteen. What do you think about that one? There? It was just such a nice flow. Yeah, you know, he just okay. He rapped it. Yeah, he still ain't hard rapping for you. Though. Still like singy rapping, but this song is fire. This oh, he didn't hardly sing on this man. But it was like singy rapping. It was like he was rapping. This was definitely more rapping. But it sounds just like um, he had a song on the Twenty One Savage uh album. Uh, mm -hmm. It was called Jumbo Shit Poppin', mm -hmm. Jumbo Chan Shit Poppin'. This mm -hmm. is like definitely just like that song. That's one of my favorite songs from that album. Oh, okay. So I would play those like I'll play these back to back because. They got like the same bounce to them. Yeah, they both yeah. have little Yachty ad libs, <laughs> like <laughs> Yachty's in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was fire. I yeah. love the bounce on that. I love this flow. That was cool. That was cool. Yep, yep. I agree. Dig it, dig it. Uh, cool. We'll go ahead and roll to the next track. This is track number sixteen. All the parties, and uh, this is <laughs> what he charged on iTunes for this album. Oh, I don't know. Shit, because that got all these songs. It just be like 50, 50. 15 bucks. I don't know. I never even look 15. at uh, oh, 50. Yeah, so. yeah, I said 50. Oh, I don't know. I never look at <laughs> iTunes to see how much. I don't I don't buy music. I just stream it. I don't buy it anymore. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is track 16. This is one that stood out to me when I was looking at the track list because we get a feature from Chief, Chief Keef. Keef. Because like the other song that had Chief Keef featured on it, it was just like a sample of I Don't Like. Right, right. But this is an actual feature. Uh, so, so he's going to actually do his thing. I don't know what he's going to do, but we're going to yeah, see. Okay, uh, okay. So this is All The Parties on, Chief. featured Chief Keef. This is produced by BNYX, Coleman, Boy Wonder, Fierce, Manish, Harley Arsenault, and Jay Dalla. Lots of cooks here. Let's hear yes, what it, it sounds like. Track 16, All The Parties. Wow, it is a lot of cooks. Track 16, All the Parties, featuring Chief Keef. What'd you think about that one, Dad? I enjoyed it. Yeah, I like that. Thoroughly, and thoroughly enjoyed that one. Yep. So. I wish that uh, Chief Keef would have did more. Yeah, I was expecting him to stretch it out a little bit. Yeah, he just had that one hook. Part. Yeah. And then Drake actually reprised the hook. I don't think, yeah, he reprised the hook, but I don't think Chief Keef. See, I think uh, with the Chief uh, Keef part, I think that he should have just opened it up. You yeah, know, he just kind of like he didn't even get to get warmed up. Yeah, this, yeah. You know, I don't know. Like, 
I yeah. feel like it should have been more with yeah. Chief Keith. Uh, but yeah, Drake again, um, absolutely putting his pen to work on these that second part. Mm -hmm. uh, just so many lines. Uh, his rhyming is fantastic through this this last verse. Just a bunch of clever lines, and he's rapping, but he's still like very melodic. You know, he raps and then he he puts it like a little mm, at the na, na, end. Na, 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 na. Yeah, he's yeah, that's singing. Uh, <laughs> it's sing rapping. I think he did more rapping than, than he did singing. It's sing rapping, and and then, you know what? At the end of the day, Drake is who popular popularized sing rapping, like the melodic rapping. Yeah. Before, uh, I mean, I, I wanted. I mean, Wayne Wayne was doing a little bit. Kanye was doing a little bit, but like Drake made it like, yeah, the thing to do. That's so, right. Hey, it's his own style. If he wants to run with it, but I want to hear him rap. <laughs> but he's but all these songs is fire though. I honestly there's no I haven't really heard no just like man, complete better, throwaways. If you want to just hear some hard hit man, you better go back and pull out some of your old Tupac. Then that's what you gonna or man, that's to, what you got you nah, gotta feel gotta for. Old old Drake. Cause he used to rap, but uh he about to rap. He about to rap here. Oh he about to rap. Okay. Okay, Dad. He, whenever he, whenever Drake tell you what time it is uh -huh. and where he's located. Uh huh. He about to rap. He about to rap. I. He's got <laughs> for sure. For sure. All right. All right. Whatever Drake tells you, what time, what time it is, and where he's located. Uh huh. He about to rap. Okay, I'm excited. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> okay, okay. This is not a drill. Boy. All right, track 17, 8 a.m. in Charlotte. I hope he does for your sake. 8 a.m. in Charlotte. You are too excited now. Conductor Williams, <laughs> producer. So, oh, that tells me he's about to rap too. Uh -huh. Conductor Williams uh -huh. is a producer for um, uh, Griselda. So, we just, a couple, was it last week we watched Conway the Machine? Mm -hmm. The mm -hmm. dude that raps out the sign of his mouth. Oh, like yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Conductor Williams produces for those guys. Oh, so okay. He don't make no singy beats. <laughs> he makes hard beats <laughs> that you have to rap on. No singy. There ain't no singy on. <laughs> when Conductor Williams show up to the studio, you better have some bars. All right. Okay. Here's 8 a.m. in Charlotte, track 17. <laughs> C produced by Conductor Williams and Mario uh, Luciano. You're on the road today. Here we boy. go. <laughs> Track 17, 8 a.m. in Charlotte. All right. <laughs> That sample of piano already. The money speaking for itself, I call it yeah, fortune exactly. tell. Fire top from a bitch that work at corporate sales. Chinchilla, you could tell I'm getting under your skin like an orange peel. <laughs> Cause your words don't match your actions like a foreign film. And now I'm silencing the lamb like the horror film. Wow. Things get quiet after me stating the obvious. Things get kinky Gushing after 15 years of dominance. <laughs> That October sky is looking ominous. Any checks old, I feel check old Slovakia, nigga. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> nah, I'm moving different right now. So for many real, checks like, old. I, I feel like if Mike switched old, out the glove for the pen, <laughs> like, That's hard. this shit just too enticing right now, yeah. you know? Oh, Look. Man. Diamonds do the silly dance, trip, I raise up man. the wine glass Metal detectors beeping and security bypass the Nigga, that's where you dying at Montage, no. I swear be like a bitch with fine sisters and fine cousins The family all bad I'm preaching to the dolls about cleaning their images I swear I'm like a young T.D. Jakes to my menaces Long kiss, good night, no. PDA for my nemesis 300 acres, PGA on the premises that's what's really wow. cracking like this verse in parenthesis. I'm giving hits to niggas on some don't even mention it. Like, don't even make love on real ones stood in your face. That's why you got deserted by your niggas like pudding and cake. I got you on camera bowing down, but the footage is safe. Uh -oh. Thank God, another USB to put in the safe. Oh, Thank snap. God, at the crib, dipping my foot in the lake. I swear that y'all turned me into the villain. I couldn't escape. Not saying I'm the best at what I do. I'm just saying that it's me versus whoever wanna lose. Pick Ooh. any one of the who's who's. 
I got two tools for new crews. RIP to the DJ from Houston, we lose screws. Helicopters, cop lights, and news crews. Niggas steady crying to my daddy, well, boo hoo. You probably heard a lot about the boy, well, true, true. in Charlotte track 17 what'd you think about that one dad dude he smashed it no, I was in this bag it was fire triple fire that beat it's just that beat that sample dude he killed that okay I told you no I told you I said it's coming. It's coming. Okay, you did. You did say it was coming. Uh, but as soon as I seen the time and the location, I knew it was uh, here. You knew it was there. <laughs> I, but it's perfect timing for this album. No, way too long. <laughs> no, 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 no. Seven. I enjoyed, seventeen songs. In. Yeah, but I enjoyed all of them, man. And then, then you right near the end, and that's like saving the best for last. Maybe that's why I like it there where it I is. I will have to see how I li- like. I'll I'll have to live with this album to see if that is is. If I'm gonna listen to this album as a whole, and you like the way he killed that song right there, yeah, I would want this song coming in near the end. Yeah, maybe I don't yeah. this song. Yes, so this particular song. song at the end of the of the album, man, it just be like, oh man, damn, he this particular song for sure. But there should have been some more rapping earlier. But I guess there was. There was a couple of joints. We uh, still got six more songs, right? Yeah. Oh, dude. Uh, yeah. It's gonna be some more. It's gonna at least be. Yeah. I say at least be a couple more. We'll hard, see, hard but rappers. I wanted to break down some of these bars here in, the, in this last <laughs> yeah, you verse. Could, you could break out uh, any of them to me. I mean, he killed it so much. I wonder who he's talking about. He says, um, you forced a lot of fake love when mm. real ones stood in your face. He's got to be talking about Kanye because... What? He's got to be talking about Kanye because he says, you forced a lot of fake love when real ones stood in your face. So... When Kanye and Drake was supposedly squashed their beef, Jay Prince, the Houston guy that just, I don't know, he's like this ominous figure, and he's the one that squashed the beef and told mm. them that they had to stop beefing before it went too far. Mm. They then came together and did the Free Larry Hoover concert together. Mm-hmm. And I think, I feel like he's saying that, like, you force a lot of fake love when real ones stood in your face. So when, when Jay Prince, a real one, stood in Kanye's face, he... He was, you know, he was forced to be like kind of fake about squashing the beef or whatever. Mm-hmm. And he says, that's why you got deserted by your niggas like pudding and cake. So, um, you know, a lot of people have turned on Ye mm-hmm. from mm-hmm. like his comments he's made. And just over the years, people were calling him crazy. Da, 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 da. And he says, I got you on camera bowing down, but the footage is safe. Thank God. Another USB. To put in a safe. What's he got on Kanye? I don't know. But that sounds, that sounds crazy. Some, some deep, whatever it is, it's some deep shit for him to have to put it away in, in the safe. And then that kind of goes back to the... Um, remember when I was t- explaining to you why Drake stopped beefing with Pusha T? Because they were saying like Drake's diss was going to be... Was going to destroy Kanye West and Pusha T mm. if Drake would have said... What, what he was, was going to say. Right. I don't know. Something on that USB, something on that, that, I don't know. But anyway, just wanted to point that out because I feel like that's kind of like one of the talking points that people have been talking wow. about on the internet. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that song is absolutely fire. 8 a.m. in Charlotte. Just add that to the long list of um, timestamp Drake. Here's all of his timestamp tracks 9 a.m. in Dallas uh-huh. 5 a.m. in Toronto 6 p.m. in New York <laughs> 4 p.m. in Calabasas that might be my personal favorite 7 a.m. on Bridal Path and now we got 8 a.m. in Charlotte wow and that's always starting he started the series in 2010 huh? yep yep he's been doing this uh this trend of of time stamping his his tracks but yeah every time every each one of these joints all bars, all fire, like 
Oh, he be snapping on the timestamp. You should tracks. make a playlist of that. I actually have one. It's I... called "What Time Is It, Drizzy." Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> and I put all. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so now that. I get to add eighty over Charlotte to that playlist. Okay, cool, cool. All right, bet, bet. We'll go ahead and move to the next track. This is track number eighteen. BBL Love Inter. <laughs> Do you know what a BBL is? No. <laughs> Uh, it's big, beautiful something. No, it's it's a Brazilian butt lift. Oh, oh my God! It's the popular uh, plastic surgery that all the girls do with the little with girls. the little tiny waist, and then yep. they get the big. Yep, they take all the fat out of their all the fat places, and they uh-huh. stick it in their butt. No, and then they have a perfect shape. Yeah, so that's. Look That's like, Drake's type. Looking like ants. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, it looks kind of weird if they don't like do the thighs right. Right, right. But yeah, Drake Drake loves the BBL stripper girls. <laughs> oh so it looks like he's got a Come whole on, little Drake. interlude here. BBL love interlude produced by Kid Masterpiece. Here we go. I can't, I can't even see where that would even feel natural, man, after Garrett do all that to her body and stuff. You know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just like weird. Built like an ant. Some of them get it right. Get it, soldier. Some of them get it right. <laughs> <laughs> Lift that refrigerator over there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here is track number 18, BBL Love Interlude. All right. I ain't drink, that ain't drink right there. No. That's a sample. Bust that pussy open for a real one. Uh, 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 uh. Can I feel it? Can I feel it? Can Drake, be for it? real. He's one, funny. One. <laughs> can I feel it? Can I feel it? Can I feel He's having fun. He is. Sometimes I still be here. <laughs> what if I had a CD? STL on the way to ATL in a big 18 wheel. Would your ass still be here? Would your ass still be here? Would you love it like you had? Hey. See, he's singing now, you enjoying it. I've been enjoying it. Dressed up to the nice girl, showing all to the show and all ass. He's looking at me like a single. He's looking like you got a hobby. He's tripping. Better take your ass home tonight. I'm a well-known player, I'm a well-known trick I'm as well as well-known guest with a long list Of some ho 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 still waiting on the gift He says some ho 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 still believing same on the gift yeah. I'm a saint, I, I Franklin saint a bitch I don't know what you thought this was, Whoa. baby girl, but that ain't this I don't know who said you was slick Now my RK Radio <laughs> Yeah, Sade was uh, yo loving the B A R K radio. Yeah, yeah, that is nice, yeah, right? That's fire. Yeah, that uh, so that cool. is BBL Love Interlude. What you think about that one, Dad? Enjoyed it. Yeah, Enjoyed that it. Fun. That, that was, was fire, man. That was so funny. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh man, he's just clapping right yeah, now. He's sure. probably he had a big old smile. I could just see him rapping that now with a big old smile on his face. He's just <laughs> like, sure. just like that yeah. was a funny track, and yeah. I absolutely love that sample that. Was yeah, so was cool. Wasn't for it? him to use such a soulful, cool sample and have such a <laughs> kind of a silly tone to this song, it was a perfect match. It was yeah. good. Yeah. That was good. Uh, cool. We'll go ahead and move to the next track. This is titled Gently, featuring none other than uh, the Puerto Rican prince, Bad Bunny. <laughs> Bad Bunny. Uh, yeah, Gently, track 19, is produced by OZ, Nick D, and Gordo. All right. Uh, so yeah, here is track 19, Gently. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Either I slow down the trip, I speed up the visa, I mean I wanna leave ya. Grab a Lisa, bring her to a visa, introduce you to Richie Akiva. My broski bonito, he needs a bonita. Africa, bien loquita. Oh, this is about to go crazy. This is the first hit I heard. Usted se cree que yo 
quiero que me invierta. Yeah. Se roba el show si sale, todos quieren ser yo, pero no le salen casa de campo. Yo yeah. quiero México ando bélico. Baby, va a joder el cometico. Tres patas encima, ponme la esquina. Con Big Man. Si cierran las cortinas, que no quiero video. Estoy harto de la foto, estoy harto de todo el mundo. Menos de ese toto, de ese toto. Yeah. Eh. Menos de ese toto, de ese toto. Eh. Ey. Botella de champaña hey. yo la descolché, me puse bella de besito y por ahí viene más. That's right. Por ahí viene Whatever más. Whatever you said. <laughs> 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 Alright, that's gently future of bad buddy. That was so short. I don't know why they did. Why they cut that one so short? Cause nobody understand what the hell he said. Well, well, a, a lot, lot, of, lot people of people didn't <laughs> understand. I didn't understand. <laughs> yeah. Put like that. Yes. I know there's a lot of people that did do exactly what he was saying. Yeah, for sure. So anyway, yeah, you know, um, Bad Bunny, his, his music sounds good, man. Yeah. I like his vibe. He's got such a cool vibe. Yeah. I love yeah. hearing Bad Bunny. Yeah. He's great. That's a good song. Yeah, I like that song. Yeah, I'm glad they put that in there. Yeah, me too. I, I wish it would have been longer. Honestly, mm -hmm. I was going to say that I, I think that was the first one that just sounded like a just a hit. Just mm -hmm. immediately, as soon as you hear the the drop on the beat and everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I can still say that I feel like you, you that, you, we're going to hear that a lot. You think you're going to hear that? I, I, yeah, that, you yeah. hear that everywhere, right? Bad Bunny is just on. He's going to be in every club right every, all over the world, huh? Bad Bunny is so on fire right now. So, yeah, you team up Bad Bunny, the biggest Latin artist in the whole wide and world, with Drake, Drake, the biggest rapper in the whole wide world. Yeah, that's that's a hit yeah. for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. That is gently. We'll go ahead and move into track number 20. Rich Baby Daddy. <laughs> and this is featuring none other than the it girl of the moment, Sexy Red. And you might remember Sexy Red because we listened to her song, Pound Town. Oh, yeah. You remember that? <laughs> yeah. <okay>. And <laughs> looks like we also get a feature from SZA. We get some more vocals from SZA. So that's, oh, boy. That's exciting. This is probably going to be super ratchet. I can't wait. <laughs> that's why I said, oh, boy. <laughs> uh, this is produced by Gordo, Clar, Leon, BNYX, The Loud Pack, UV, Killing Them. And Dougie F. Okay. Here is track number 20, Rich Baby Daddy. <laughs> These samples are just so good. Yeah. The production of this album, so good. Bend that ass over. Let that coochie breathe. Shake that ass, bitch. See? Inside of me, please drag it out of me. You just might, just might get that G wagon out of me. Please drag it out of me, please drag it out. Holy gang, patty gang, rich baby daddy gang. I'm with red like I'm at a Cincinnati gang. Good bitch, tatter gang, for she tatter name. Make that ass for me. They go, that's gonna be a no. That's another hit. Mm -hmm. They're gonna be playing us in the strip club. No. Oh, they'd be playing in strip club tonight. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. I'm gonna figure out what that sample's from. You well versed. You know the lies and you know the truth of it. Oh, I see the future and I can see you in it. Yeah, so I'm stupid, so don't put on stupid shit. I swear, pop in my shit, come with consequences. Post no clarity, I came to my senses. I knew it was love when it started as a friendship. Asking about a baby, we should probably get a friendship. <laughs> take care of the dog, take care of the dog, care of the until dog. the dog day 
is an over the door. My baby, hold on tight. <laughs> All right. Rich Baby Daddy featuring Sexy Red and SZA. What did you think about that one, Dad? That was, well, that when I saw SZA on there, I, I knew what time it was. I didn't know too much about Sexy Red, but yeah. she apparently, uh, they, they neck and neck <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to what they do. But uh, <laughs> the song, the production was uh, amazing. Yeah. And it's just, I was trying to figure out that sample, man. I've heard that beat. That heard, I've heard it. I've heard it over and over and over again. I think I know it. Uh, the the drum beat. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I got it in the back of my mind. I even hear the, the song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm in watching you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And see, I, I think of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah, it. That's yeah, it. Yeah. That's, that's, that's it. The, that is that beat. Uh huh. Ah, uh-huh. good. <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. That's what that is yeah. for sure. Uh, yeah, love that sample. Um, the drum beat. Um, sexy red. She she does what she 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 did what she did. She brought her ratchetness to the track. <laughs> Uh, SZA, it's just a, always a pleasure to hear her <laughs> voice. Um, yeah, I thought it was a cool track. Yes, I wouldn't be ain't. I wouldn't be rushing to that one, <laughs> but I understand that all the all the beautiful young ladies that like to shake ass mm-hmm. are gonna be loving that one. Oh yeah, but sure. I did like uh, the outro. The outro yeah. was nice. Yeah, outro it, it right back real, to super nice. Right back to Petty Drake. Drake at his, at his pettiness. <laughs> I mean, he's so good when he's being petty. It's great. Well, he don't have anything else to do. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> he's got plenty of time and, and, and so he just effort. He, he vents through his music. For sure. <laughs> so Love it. Uh, <laughs> He said she was mad. He just replied. He said she started tripping. He just replied, have a nice <laughs> flight. flight. That is funny. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, you tripping? Uh, have, uh, have a nice flight. Right, That's right. hilarious. That's it. All right. Track 21, Another Late Night featuring Lil Yachty, produced by Lil Yachty and Child Boy. Okay. Here is track 21, Another Late Night. Here we go. I bet. Hey, this little Drizzy rapping creep. Better cap up from the way from the street. Ay. Wanna fuck with me, well, baby? I'm so to that game, we get to really flocking. I send a finger to your mama in some FedEx boxes. Open up that shit, it's jaw dropping, really shocking. Ay. I ain't pretty flock, oh bitch, this shit get really rocky. Ay. Damn, what? dirty how I did em. Cause I love that hoe, don't even make no sense. <laughs> Just another <laughs> late night with my dog. Just another late night with my bitch. And we riding around trying to make sense. Nice flow to it. Yeah. Ring. I support the odds before I support seven grand. We have been targets with 20 bitches, just me and my team. Us. Okay. That's another one. I ain't heard bad. I didn't hear a bad song on here except the, the only song I don't like on here is the one we just heard them with um, um Scissor. And Sexy Red. And Sexy Red. Yeah. That's um, the only song on here I didn't like. And that's that's probably and I didn't even I didn't, like not didn't, like that song, but like, yeah, 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 you're right, you're right. I didn't not, really. Like, it's just not for me. I, I, I would, I would, I would put I would like, skip it. I would put everything on my playlist and leave that one out. Yeah, yeah. yeah All right, well, that's so. 21. Another no, late no. night featuring Lil Yachty. Uh, yeah, I think that's another good one. Yeah, it's another good one. There's nothing. Yeah, I, I agree. Like, there's nothing bad on here. There's just something. Man, that's a lot. That's saying a lot. It's nothing bad on here. Twenty three songs. Yeah, that's a lot of songs. Twenty three songs, that's and there's not songs. one bad one. We haven't gotten all the way to the end yet. Yeah, but there's also not like a ton of like crazy Shh. good ones though. Man, all these are crazy good ones. Uh, I, look, you go back and put it on the big. You put on put it on your big. I'm definitely gonna be jamming this tonight. And and hearing it more, but and I'm guarantee you, I guarantee you, boy, you gonna fall in love with this album. It, I mean, t- to me, you're probably not wrong, but just first listen, I'm like, these are these are dope songs, but just like Drake is just like the hit machine, and maybe these are hits, maybe they gotta grow on you, maybe you gotta hear it a couple times. Twenty three songs, I man, he's probably got like 
eight hits off here. We'll see. All right, we'll go ahead and move into the next track. Maybe track. more. Track number 22, Away From Home. It was produced by Lil Yachty, Sad oh, Pony. Oh, there's Sad Pony. BNYX, <laughs> Justin NY. Raisin. Raisin, okay. Fluxury, and Lucas Levine. Okay, I don't know much but Fluxury. I know Yachty. I know, I know BNX. <laughs> BNY. Sad Pony and Justin Raisin. Yeah, we've heard well, all Lucas those Lucas Levine, no, I'm not sure. Yeah, we I'm haven't heard sure. those last two. Those yeah. are pretty, uh, we haven't heard those. Okay. okay, cool. Track 22, Away From Home. Oh, what? It's a, is it real? Yeah. Man, the production mm. is really hey. good on here. It is. Yeah. Give a fuck if they remember. I was in a oh, cold yeah. when I froze. I was sleeping in a whip trying to get a fucking grip. I remember. Didn't have no hoes trying to go. All these rappers love bro me. Fuck them, I remember. Way before they had a fucking dim, I was whipping in the act like that shit was European. I remember. Yeah. I remember driving Holland Tunnel for a label meet and thinking about more cake than a funnel. I remember. Now this these one. niggas don't this remember. I don't need to like remember. I know Jay remember. <laughs> Chelsea make them boys remember. Dead broke, splitting pennies with my members. Fuck a spread, we were splitting chicken tenders. Remember, I was sleeping in the basement, watching Tigger in the basement. I was trying to get a place when I remember. Days in the low east ends, the boys. Yeah. Watching Tristan in the bowl while they running up the skull. I remember. TT yeah. was headed to the league. That's I was cold. sleeping up in Metal Works, trying to plant a seed. I remember. Rolling through the city, getting beats. I was peeping out the streets because I was beefing with the bleaks. I remember. <laughs> I was trying to get a portion. Might design an out and he sued the fucking guys and he ducking into now. I remember. Uh. Remember Reese. Staying at the house, then she left me for my dog like she never took the vow. I remember my yeah. cousin Ryan in front of me yeah. a pound, and I couldn't even flip it, had to bring it back around. I remember, <laughs> I remember printing up our t shirts with cow. We good in love with the same girl, beefing like a cow. I would pick them shits up, nigga wouldn't even smile. Nigga better crack a smile for we do it, nigga. Fuck. Then we never hear from you again like you was taken. Yeah. Who the CEO of Universal, they mistaken. Cause Google saying Lucian, but that just doesn't make sense. Who filling up the piggy bank? Who bringing home the bacon? This Shit don't come on by no I'm still wow. making bacon. How could I forget? Yeah. How could I forget? I was on a Greyhound way before the jet. Buffalo oh. was like the furthest I could get. At the Walden Gallery trying to make yeah. yeah. And I put that shit on Maz and that nigga with my best friend. Wow. That's one of my favorite joys yeah. over here. This and I put that shit on Johnny Blaine and nigga with my it. best friend. Ooh, you know it. I right. love this And song. I put that shit on Richard, that nigga was my best friend. Hey. Yeah. Yeah, broke his right hand, still took a fight with his left hand. Yeah. <laughs> he remember. Yeah. I remember. Yeah, you remember. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that. That 808, I know. <laughs> Track number 22, Away From Home. What would you think about that one, Dad? I told you what was going to happen. <laughs> I told you what was going to happen, didn't I? I definitely think I like the second half of this album better than the first half. I agree that it's gotten... Yeah, and he's, he's rapping more. This is still a singy rap song, but... It's more Man. rap than sing, I guess. Drake is just killing it. I don't this know what else fire. you want him to do. No, it's supposed to be this song is fire. I, I love this song. I love, this song. I love this song. I love this song. This dude, he killed He killed this song. This, he killed his whole album. He has killed this album. I agree. This beat is so fire. Lil Yachty, Sad Pony, BNYX, they all, man, I don't know who did what on this song. <laughs> I know, right? But it, this beat, them, them so man. good. Wasn't that, I never heard of you. Boom, like boom, the boom, boom, boom. Yeah. That was oh, fire. man. Damn, I'm trying to think. And that's another song he kept on taking. He started on the high end of the boom and take it deep. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, wow. Yeah, yeah that's I, fire. That beat is fire. And then I'm just loving his uh, just introspective lyrics and talking about his past and uh bringing up his memories 10 out of 10 love that song that was great told you told you i had to tell you about your own boy okay your own boy i had to tell you about it i said man he gonna at the end he gonna give you what you want you know drake i feel like drake is like one of those people too it's like um especially when you're a fan it's like I, I love Drake. I love Drake. And, you know, he gets criticized so much. Right. And I feel like it's, like, almost just automatic. Like, you're on the, on the, uh, you're automatically, like, hmm, 
I don't know. Is this going to be fire? Like they, they get in your head. That's yeah, what it is. Yeah, yeah. They get in your head. And the thing about it is then in your mind, I'm thinking, here's the way I'm thinking uh, your psyche would be. Once you hear out that everybody got in your head and you're like, oh, Drake, Drake, what a, oh, maybe Drake, maybe not. And then the thing of it is, is then you want Drake to redeem himself so badly. Yeah. You want him to just come in like a roaring lion. Yeah. To me, he did that on this album. See, to me, I think... He just didn't do it in your fashion. Right. And I think, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, like, comparing it, like, to his other work and stuff. And, you know, artists have... They have to evolve. They have to change. They have to keep pushing things forward. And I think that Drake has done a really good job with that in throughout his career. Mm -hmm. And every album has a different sound. He builds on things and he, he um, tries new things and... I think this is just another the next evolution of him uh, on this album. It's it's been super enjoyable. Twenty three tracks. I thought was gonna be a lot more laboring, uh, but like this has been really fun. It has. I mean, I think I think this album right here from the past Drakes that I've heard. You've heard way more more Drake than I have, but the ones that you have introduced to me, to me, this is let his he's this album right here. He's at his pinnacle. He's at the peak, man. He's He's showing all this maturity, and he's so polished mm. and so professional, and so man. It, it just seems like okay now, now that he hit this, to me, this is not his plateau. This is probably one of his better. It has to me, in my opinion, this is his best right now. And I'm telling you right now, the one after this, mm -hmm. it's just gonna spill all. This one's gonna spill all all over into the next one. And if y'all you know whenever he makes another one, because these guys don't, I mean, they pop out of. Well, Drake is actually known for dropping pretty frequently out of the big three mm -hmm. Kendrick, Cole, and Drake. Uh -huh. Drake drops the most frequently. However, he just did an interview and said that he was going to take some time off of music after After this, this one here? Yeah, yeah. He said he's going to take probably up to a year. Uh, yeah, at, it's not too bad. At, at least a year, maybe longer, is what he said. Well, if he can help himself. Yeah, we'll see. He you know, because artists, man, they get, they get, you know, they get all these, all these creative juices start building up in them. And they gotta get, they gotta express it. Well, he said that he, he also mentioned that he's having some health issues with his, uh, with his gut or something like that. Oh, is he? And he's just wanting to get healthy. focus on his health and, mm -hmm. and oh man, uh, hope, yeah. So well, I hope everything's okay. Yeah, hopefully. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and roll into the very last track. This is track number twenty-three. It's titled "Polar Opposites." This is produced by. Lil Yachty, Antoine Walters, The Beat Menace, 40, Gentoire Mamishi, and Bangs. And you know what I noticed about this album as well? Hmm. Uh, not a ton of 40 production. I'm sure 40 mixed it, mm -hmm. but as far as usually, like 70, 80% of the album is produced by 40. Yeah, 40 probably said, man, when all these people are here, well, I'll not take a sit back, yeah, take a little chill, break. Yeah, chill in the man. background. You all do your thing. I'll come and <laughs> do, uh, do what I got to do. do. I'm out. Yeah. yeah. So I don't know. I think yeah. that's interesting. But yeah, here, it, but, it, and also, Lil Yachty is all over this thing. He is, isn't he? Wow. Lil Yachty, man. He is. He's Well, he's getting big props on here. Lil Yachty. <laughs> big props. No, that's just probably the biggest props he can. <laughs> no, literally. I mean, you, you yeah. don't get any big. There's no bigger like <laughs> artist than Drake. Like, and for you to just be all over here in production and writing credits, mm -hmm. uh, hats off to Lil Yachty. He's having yeah, a hell of a year. Yeah, he is. The 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 J Cole track we just listened to the other yep. day. Yep. He put out that album. Uh, let's start. Let's start here, <laughs> which was super experimental and cool yeah. and weird. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was cool. And then yeah, all this Drake stuff. Cool. Good good for him. Okay, here's the last track, 23 Polar Opposites. Oh, somebody that hijacked the chipmunks. <laughs> Yo. Hey. Tweaking on vacation with me. You say limitations with me. Why do I get treated different? I don't know how you run the bases with me. They say <laughs> nothing sacred with me. Why do I get treated different? The sun is setting on me. I just know the tension is increasing. 
There's plenty of people dead to me still breathing Plenty of <laughs> ways to get over people Yeah, ain't had to step on me to gain freedom People try to grace me, but we're not <laughs> Oh my God, knows. okay I don't get hurt much, but I'm not invincible Biding my time with you, then things got political Oh, I read your last text, you're getting bold <laughs> Telling me what rocks your boat What keeps your heavy heart afloat I don't know Bipolar baby Seems Bipolar, like baby. it just <laughs> when I diagnosed oh, man. Block me on everything that's so immature So I'm provoked I Let's be in on here, it's killing me Yeah, it is That is track number 23, Polar Opposites. What do you think about that one, Dad? Okay. What I think about this song right here? Yeah. Now, this is where I'm finally, finally <laughs> going to agree with you. <laughs> it was that. I didn't want him to end this album on a singy song. Yeah. On a singy song and not like, I just felt like. It's I just, wanted him to end it hard hitting like a some hard like the song before uh was it before that or the song before that. Yeah, away from hard. home. Away from home was great, yeah. 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 He should have put that way from down at the bottom and put that one slid that one up. And then another the just such a specific like he's talking straight at this girl, Mariana or whoever. It's like What happened to Haley? Uh, what was, was well, it Haley? Yeah, I, yeah, Haley, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it's all different girls that you're <laughs> de dealing with. but They all messing you yeah. up, Drake. But it's like, uh, I, don't, I don't know. I they all. Just, just I, I wish you would have ended it a little differently, too. Yeah, yeah. But I, I, wasn't, I wasn't in the mood for the singing this time. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because I've heard a lot of singing, mm -hmm. and, in, and I was kind of like leaning towards you when you're saying, oh, yeah, he need to rap a little harder and a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And in this last song, I want, that's what I wanted to hear. And, and you know, this, it, it was a pretty song, though. Yeah, it was a uh, nice song. I felt like it could have been anywhere in this album, but to be the last right. track, I feel like there was no resolution. It's like, wrap this up. Like, tell us, like, the... Right. What's the, you know... He left you hanging. Yeah, yeah. yeah it could have been in the middle of the album. Yeah, that could have been or anywhere. Just, I mean, he really I think uh, Away From Home. If Away From Home, that song where he's like, I remember, and all mm -hmm. that stuff, that could have... If he would have just uh, yeah. switched those around, yeah, switch that, around. that would have yeah. been perfect. Been, it would have been. That would have been perfect. It would have been, yep. You're right. Yeah, You're you right. Know, they yeah. dropped the ball on the, on the sequencing of that, but... Mm -hmm. Overall, for all the dogs, 2023, Drake. That was a two, Drizzy two three, four, five thumb. That was a five star, five out of five stars to me. Yes, sir. Yeah, that was a good one. I think that was a banging album. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I'm, I don't know where, I, I don't think it's his best. I wouldn't go that far. I would. Uh, there, Take Care does exist. Um, but that was great. And I don't know where it falls in his discography yet. I will definitely have to hear it more and live with it but i did enjoy it <laughs> and live with it i gotta live with it i gotta i gotta hear it i gotta hear it out and about i gotta like <laughs> yeah you know yeah are oh, you gonna hear this out and about yeah you, you're gonna hear a bunch of bunch of not even uh you're gonna hear the strip club uh joints yeah you're gonna hear that um it was an oh gosh it was another one man so like a club joint uh, there's some joints on yeah. here there's definitely some joints on here i'm excited to kind of play it back and start to pick and choose the faves and stuff like that that was mm -hmm. it was a cool album definitely a lot of different sounds definitely different from from drake um uh, yeah i dug it i i didn't dislike it i liked it i liked it a i lot. think i think there's a lot of people out here pleased with this one yeah i think there's a lot of great moments in here and um yeah, I can't wait. Like I said, I can't wait to live with it and hear it more and stuff. I'm, I can't wait to play it over again. I'm, I'm This is going to be a good listen this weekend. Yeah, for sure. Well, mm -hmm. hey, if you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed this album, please drop a comment and let us know what's your favorite track from For All the Dogs. And make sure you give this video a big thumbs Ooh. up. Um, also, turn on your post notifications and make sure you're notified every time we drop a new video. And if you like our videos, but you want to see the uncut, unedited versions, then check out our Patreon. The link is in the description. And if you subscribe to our Patreon, you'll be automatically entered to win a free vinyl 
that we will give away once per month, every month. Uh, so shout out to uh, Jonathan Lewis, the, uh, our, our October winner. Thank you so much for your support, Jonathan. And, Thank you. Uh, oh, yeah, you should be getting your vinyl soon. Send us a selfie with it. <laughs> and we'll post it on our Instagram. Cool. And uh, cool. lastly, thank you so much to Byte for sponsoring this video. Byte. Uh, if you want to improve your smile from the comfort of your home, then check out Byte. The link is in our description. You can get a large discount. I think it's about 80% off of your impression kit when you order with our discount code, Bridging the Gap 21. Oh, that was a mouthful. That was a lot of stuff. Yeah, they're bridging my gap. They're bridging, they're bridging Dad's gap. <laughs> so shout out to Byte. Thank you so much for uh, sponsoring this video. And shout out to the Gap Gang. We'll see you next time. Peace. Peace.